Hey guys, so this is going to be a makeup collection video. I'm also going to show you my vanity and how I like to store and set up all my makeup. Okay, so this is my vanity and just my whole makeup setup. I have a little chair to sit in. And then up there on the wall, I have an Eiffel Tower kind of wall decal. I got it from Target over the summer. It was, it was on clearance for only about $2, but I'm sure you can still find it pretty much anywhere. And over there is my primary makeup storage. So guess, okay, so this is just a three draw bin. I got it from Target in their college section. I have my face, my eyes, and my lips. I love this. It holds so much stuff. And they come in different sizes depending on how much makeup you have. I do have the larger of the two. And I want to show you what I have on the top first. So this is where I hold all my face brushes. This is just a spinning utensil holder. I got mine in black, but they came in a bunch of different colors. I just thought black went best with my room. And this is where I hold all my face brushes. So these are foundation. I have two paddle foundation brushes from e.l.f., an angled foundation brush from Kirkland, a stippling MAC foundation brush, and then a special edition stippling foundation brush. This is the larger of the two brushes. You can see a major difference in like the brush size. And then these are my three kind of all-purpose face brushes. This one's from Kirkland, and these two are e.l.f. I washed both of them, but this one got really weird when I washed it. So I'm going to have to wash it again. Hopefully it can look normal because I don't want to get rid of it, but it just is really weird and doesn't really work now. So I'll have to rewash and hope it gets back to normal. And then these are all of my... Um, a blush brushes. These two are just no name ones. I really like them, but I have no idea where I got them from. This is an angled e.l.f. one. This is a kind of imitation duo fiber brush. I got it from Flirt Cosmetics, which they sell at Kohl's. This is a flat top kabuki brush. This is from Kirkland. And then I have a travel size version of my face brush from Kirkland. And then I have the MAC angled blush brush. This is a special edition brush. And those are just all my face brushes, and I just love this storage setup. And then I have two items from Holiday Collections. This, I think, is from two or three collections ago. I'm not too sure, but it's the pigments. If I can get it open. This is the Sex Pot Pigments to do with one hand. So it's just five little pigments. I love the colors, and I love how they're small because, I, as I've said before, I can never go through a whole pigment, so getting pigments in a set is a great idea. And this was from the last holiday collection. It's just a lip gloss set. I love the packaging, and I have one of the lip glosses missing because it's in my bag, but it's just the coral pink ones. And that's what I have on top of my makeup storage. And then over here is where I hold my MAC eyeshadows. This is just like a, uh, I guess, like folder divider or letter divider. I got it from Target as well. It has really pretty flowers on it. And then I just have a neutral palette, a highlighting palette, and a kind of dark blues and purple palette. They're pretty much all full. I might do another video about my... Um, MAC palettes, but I just have three of them, and I like to divide them up depending on the colors. And then these are the drawers. I guess I'll show you what's in them. The first one is the face draw. In the back, I have my MAC blushes. This is Pink Swoon, Cubic, Spring Sheen, and Desert Rose. I have four in the Pro Pan form. And then I have my Chanel Matte Lumiere Foundation. I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. I know I, someone left a comment saying I say it wrong, but it's just the Matte Lumiere. I don't know. But that's the foundation I usually use. And then I have this little Clinique bronzer. I never really use it, but I hold on to it, though. And then this is from the MAC Venomous Villains collection. It's the Coelho DeVille Beauty Powder in her own devices. And then I have three mineralized blushes. This one is in Love Thing. This one is in Daft Pink. And this one is another kind of pinky one that's in hand finished. These two add just a lot of extra shimmer to your cheeks. And then I have another MAC blush in Sincere. And this is my NARS Duo in Orgasm Blush and Laguna Bronzer. I love this. And then I have three ELF Studio Blushes. And then I have this MAC Holiday Collection Blush Set. It comes with like a sheer tone shimmer, a powder blush, and a um, beauty powder. So there's just three in there. So that's everything in my top drawer. And then in the second drawer, I have all my eyeshadows. This is where my loose ones are or my eyeshadow sets. I have two from the MAC Holiday Collection that came out this, I guess, last year, but the most recent Holiday Collection. I have that one. 
and this one as well. So I have those two colors. And then I have two pigments. This is a pro pigment in Magenta Madness. It's just a hot pink. And then I have a MAC Teal pigment. And then I have two liquid eyeshadows from e.l.f., a gold one, and then this kind of a toppy purple color. I have an e.l.f. brightening quad and my Maybelline Expert Eye. And then over here I have two eyeliners. This is the MAC Green Eyeliner in um, Bankroll. And then I have my MAC Pen Eyeliner. It's like the liquid liner in Rapid Black. I have an e.l.f. Trio. This little MAC duo, and I have my NYX Trio, and then this is just a nice MAC quad. It has Ara, um, Dazzle Light, Satin Top, and Twinks, and this just makes a really pretty brown smoky eye. I have a MAC Paint in Base Light. This is more of like a going out sparkly paint. And then I have two um, samples from MAC. This is in Amber Rose. Amber Rouge. I don't know, it's a lip gloss. And then I have a pigment in Silver Dusk. And I have this Flirt base. And then I have my MAC Paint and Painterly. I have these two um, MAC eyeshadows. They came out in a collection, but they were limited edition. This one is Glamour Check. And then this one is in Style Snob. I'm not sure what collection they came out, but they're pretty old. And then I have my MAC... Um, fluid line and black tracks. I have three e.l.f. eyeshadow duos. I have my MAC Vanilla Pigment. And then over here I have the larger MAC eyeshadows. This is Prance. It just came out in the Peacocky collection. I have this quad in Girlish Romp. It broke, but it still works perfectly fine. And then I have a Spectacle of Yourself, which was from the Peacocky collection as well. I have this duo that is in pink split. I really like these two colors. And then I have Tweet Me, which came out in the Peacocky collection as well. And that's just my whole eye draw. And in the bottom draw, I have lips and some eye stuff. So these are just my MAC lipsticks. So these two are in Color Crafted, Honey Flower, Front Lit, and Radicho. And then I have one from the Venomous Villains collection that is in uh, Sinister. And then I have the Hello Kitty lipstick. I love this one. I don't wear it that often, but it's just such a fun pink. And this is in um, Straying. I love Hello Kitty, as you guys know, so I had to get something from that collection. And then I have Soft Nude from Revlon. Uh, classy from Elf. This one is Bare Brown from Elf as well. And then Fantasy from e.l.f. And then I have my little Selnique samples, my eyelash curler, an EOS lip balm, Blistex lipstick, Per lip gloss, which is my favorite lip gloss from MAC, my eyebrow gel from MAC, this kind of fun pink lip gloss. I got it, I think, in a hottie collection a while ago, but it's just really a fun color. Two soft lips, and then in the back, I have some mascaras. These are the mascaras I don't wear that often. I have the Lash Accelerator, two um, L'Oreal Volume Shocking. This one's waterproof. This one is just plain black. I really like to use the primer on this side before I use any mascara. And then I have two Opulash. Um, I don't know why they're out of the packaging, but neither one of these have been used yet. And then I have one still in the box. This is MAC Opulash. This is when I thought it was limited edition, so I bought like 50 of them. It wasn't the smartest idea because it's not limited edition. And then this is a Colossal Mascara, and then I have my Sephora little eyeliner, and then two e.l.f. liners, and that's just everything I have in this makeup drawers. This is a really great setup idea, and I do have the larger of the two, like I said, but it's just really great because it has three drawers, so you can divide it up. And then over here, I have a Chanel Translucent Powder. I like to use this to set my makeup sometimes. It will give me even more coverage than my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. And then here's my e.l.f. makeup. I have my 100 eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. I love this. And then I have um, four e.l.f. beauty books. This is the lip edition, the smoky eye edition, the bright eye edition, and then the neutral edition. And that's just what they look like. They have 
12 eyeshadows in them and I just love them so much. And then over here I have some more e.l.f. stuff. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This is the e.l.f. Brush Shampoo. The e.l.f. Primer, which I actually haven't used yet. It's still in the packaging, but I'm really excited to try it out. And then this is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. So I just have those four stuff to kind of hold up my beauty box. And then I have my, Max, my MAC Fix Plus right over here. I have a little mirror. I use this for my makeup, or actually sometimes I'll bring in a different mirror. But this is just nice. I mean, it's a good size. You can see me there. And then back here, I have a Victoria's Secret bag, which I have scrunchies and bobby pins. And I love the colors because it goes with the red roses I have right over here. And it's pink, which is the primary color in my room. And then I have a hand sanitizer and this stuff to help you stop biting your nails. I haven't used it yet. I just showed it in a haul the other day, but I keep on saying I'm going to start using it, but I just haven't had time to actually try it out. And then over here in this Paris mug, which is so pretty, I absolutely love this mug. Hey, I have the lip products I use all the time. I have three e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shines. I have Color Crafted from MAC. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of Color Crafted. This is the one that's being used right now. And then I have Blankety Lipstick, Honey Love Lipstick, Hue Lipstick, and the Quelle DeVille Cream Sheen in Innocence Beware. And then I have two more e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shines. And then I have my NYX Lipstick in Iris. And then this e.l.f. Lip Plumper and Lip Gloss. I don't really use the lip gloss side, but I love the plumper side of it. And then I have these two wine glasses, and that one is all my eye brushes, and this is some more makeup. I'll show you the brushes first. I'm not going to show you them all because I do have a lot of eye brushes. They're mostly from e.l.f., MAC, and Chanel, but I just really like storing them in this. It's really easy to see them all. I have the Chanel Number no. 3 brush, which is my favorite brush from Chanel. I have a MAC 224 fluffy brush I use to apply concealer and uh, to kind of smoke up a look. I have this e.l.f. brush, which I have three of them actually, it's just their shadow brush, it is great for packing on color. I have this Kirkland kind of tapered brush, it's good for um, applying shadow in your crease. I have some other e.l.f. ones, some MAC Special Edition ones, um, I have that MAC Concealer one. This just all over the lid brush, you know, I just have a bunch of brushes in here. They're great, and I think it looks really nice in this wine glass. And then over in this wine glass, I have the makeup that I use every single day almost that I want to have right at reach. I don't have to dig around for it. So I like to have it in this so it's just right there. And then in here I have my MAC Tinted Moisturizer. This is in light. I have my Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Target Pour and Line Primer. This is really good if you have large pores. It like makes them look so much smaller. I have my MAC Opulash Mascara. This is the one that I have open and this is a great mascara for MAC. I have my MAC Smolder Eyeliner. This is the only line, eyeliner I'll use on my waterline. It lasts all day. I have my e.l.f. Mascara for lengthening and defining. This is a really nice drugstore mascara. This is the MAC Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner. This is a great eyeliner for going out. It kind of has like a, a glossy appearance when you apply it. Even when it dries, it still looks glossy. This is my Chanel Liquid Liner. My e.l.f. one um, ran out, so this is what I've been using whenever I want a winged out eyeliner. And then this is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I love this stuff. It's a great liquid concealer. I have my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer for only a dollar. This is probably the best primer you'll find for that price. So I'll switch between this one and my MAC Paint and Painterly. And then I have my e.l.f. Zit Zapper. If you feel a pimple coming on and you want to stop it from like coming to the surface, like you when you feel it like under the skin, this is wonderful to stop it from coming up. And then I have this Revlon um, Lash Accelerator Eyelash Glue. This is my favorite eyelash glue. And then I have my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. I really, really like this stuff. It is a little more expensive and I only have the travel size of it, but I'm almost out of it so I have to get the full size because this is a wonderful primer. It makes your makeup last all day. And then over here I have all my face products. I have scrubs, makeup removers, serums, masks, moisturizers, acne stuff, just anything you can think of I have in here. It's in this really pretty kind of, I guess, I don't know, holder. I'm not sure what you'd call this thing, but it's so nice. It goes really well with my room. I'm not even sure where I got it from, but it was in my bathroom, and I just took it to put in my own room because it is so cute. And then back here, I have a little cotton pad so I can apply my toner, and then my um, Shiseido 
super exfoliating discs. I share a bathroom with my sister, so this stuff would take up a lot of room in my bathroom. And there are like moisturizers and serums in here, so stuff that I need to apply before. I put on all my makeup, so I like to have it in my room so everything's all in one spot. And then I have this MAC um, little bag came from their holiday collection and I have these Hello Kitty lip glosses I think they look so cute I um I do use them I do really really like them but I also think they look adorable for like display and then I only use these two drawers I don't use like this um like under here like this opens up and there's compartments I don't use that but I like these two drawers and this one I have all my empty containers all stuff that can be back to Mac I've never taken something back to Mac like I've never like returned items to buy something else I don't know why because I've reached pan so many times so I might as well and then over in this drawer I have makeup that I actually don't use that often I have a Mac palette full of shadows that are kind of crazy and since my holder only holds three palettes I just have this palette in the drawer for the colors that I don't use that often and I have have this bronzer, a blush, some mascaras, lip products, just stuff that I don't use that often, but I like to hold on to them just in case. And like the MAC shadows, I do really like them. I just don't have enough room in this, so I figured I'll put the less used shadows in there. Okay, so this is just my setup once again, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.